the Tyson types, the shape figures. Let's get it together, come on, let's make it. Gotta make it, to make it, to make it, to make it, to make something happen, to make something happen, to make something happen, let's make, make something, something happen. happen. Word the fight for gonna bring it to the overlord, drink a Cisco, chillin' with the gold. So, the thing about creating the hip hop council and brain trust, when you look at any, any, any kind of like, you know, for the most part, organization that you have, you know, you have to, you can't run it by yourself. You need people, and you need people who you can dialogue with and exchange and build with. Hip hop is, you know, you know, in its DNA is about the collaboration, whether it be the collaboration between the DJ and the MC or the five MCs. You know, now we see it's a lot, you know, it's solo artists, but there's still a mammoth behind that successful solo artist that makes he or she go. So, and, that's, and that can be said for pretty much anything, any kind of industry, right? So when you, when you have a council of people who are experts, you know, whether it be a, a Karen Mayo or a Questlove or a Jason King, you know, these people are experts at what they do have done it, worked, not just got there, you know, pay dues, some of them arm in arm with me, we watched each other grow. You know, we selected people who um, thrive for excellence, have achieved excellence, and who desire it, not just for themselves, but for people at large. Um, so it's 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 just it's just a a must to have that especially when we're in you know this creative realm you know of trying to put together great programming in an esteemed house like the Kennedy Center. People in poverty, no matter the skin tone, culture or time zone, think the ones who got it with just to go through some of the people who are on the council. Black Thought is somebody that I'm really excited about being on there because um, he's just one of the preeminent MCs and artists of our time. And we always, you know, know that Questlove has, you know, appeared in many things and is kind of just like a, a de facto go-to person with all things hip hop, but, um, Black Thought really understands the history. He understands, you know, presentation. And I'm just really excited about him being on there. Kierna Mayo is somebody that I've known, a childhood friend for a very long time. And to watch her, you know, uh, independently and on her own, grow herself in her brand, um, not only for being one of the original uh, staff writers on the first incarnation of the source to starting uh, Honey Magazine to being a figure in not only, you know, not, not just black journalism, but popular journalism. Um, it's just really um, exciting um, to have her there. Uh, Grandmaster Kaz, um, one of our uh, founding fathers, if you would, of hip hop. You know, he was there in, in the early days watching Cool Herc DJ in 1973 and, and came up as a DJ himself and an MC, you know, of the, you know, the group, the Cold Crush Brothers. And um, he's still out here, you know, in servitude to hip hop and to his craft. And it's just great to have somebody who really knows, who is staunched in the history uh, to be a part of it, um, the council. Um, and obviously LL Cool J, who is the first um, hip hop artist to have a Kennedy Center honor. Um, for him to be a part of the council and to, you know, you know, lay down his experience and, you know, all the things that he went through through his like storied career, not only as a, 
as an artist, but as an actor, as a businessman, um, as just somebody who's kind of one of our diplomats in hip hop for him to to be a part of it is just a complete, complete honor. So people like that from, you know, from different um, facets of the hip hop culture, um, producers, writers, artists, MCs, activists, men, women, white, black, doesn't make, you know, we're fairly, yeah, I think we're pretty well represented across the board for our council. For Tyson types and chain figures, let's get it together. Um, between the world and me reading is something that I'm looking forward to. It's in my birthday month too, April. So that's reason to be excited. Um, also, the, the one other thing that I'm really excited about though is the, is the 35th anniversary of Wild Style. I actually speak to Fat Five a lot. And I did speak to him a couple of months ago about that and how excited he is about it. If you don't know, you know, Fab Five Freddy uh, is, you know, uh, probably the impetus for that film. If you hadn't seen it, it's one of the uh, first hip hop films done. And um, just to be able to celebrate that and then some of the parties that we're doing there, like gonna have like a big DJ mashup with like Bobito, Stretch Armstrong, Rich Medina, and DJ Spinner all spinning together at the same time. So that sounds like that's gonna be a lot of sweaty bodies. So that's good. Space program, you stuck here.